Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jocelyn Lovely Tarot. So good to see you guys here today. Today's reading is going to be for my Pisces. If you guys resonate with the video, like, share, and subscribe. All right, you guys, we're starting off really well with you guys here. It's the last reading for the week. I am starting off with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse for you guys. It's actually not a bad energy because the next card that came with it, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, was the Ace of Wands. But look at the figure. It kind of looks very similar. It looks like a wand and a wand energy. You see how the figures look the same? I'm getting more of fire is about to be freaking unleashed out of you. Something happens this week where you take hold or reclaim some part of self and it gives you some type of confidence okay this confidence is the real deal it's not no fake confidence it's like and if it's not it just just to help you out it's not just the fact that you're discovering something within self it's almost as if the planets too there's a lot of um planetary alignments right now that is causing your fire your wand energy to be up at an all-time high but look at this level sorry it was this way Look at the level of, of of ferocity that's coming out of this, like, fire. And it's this little thing aiming at this Ace of Wands. And it's like you being open and receptive to receive it. Or to connect with things that are just as aligned to your wand energy. So if this is you reclaiming something some part of self reclaiming some type of confidence that's about to exude this fire energy it's like the satellite opening up releasing the fire and there another there's another like receptive energy here that's also a wand the same caliber as you ready to receive it either way you're either in the receiving end but i don't think you are i think this is this is like potential energy something asking for you to come towards it and you here you are with this fire just coming out and about and it's in a rush okay this fire is nothing to play with it's not regular fire this is fire that that has has not been tamed yet because it's so new it's barely coming out of you so you have to figure out how you're going to tame that fire you get the three of wands energy next now look at the difference how this wand shows up now you're showing up with power you're showing up with confidence you're look at the colors all around you go with greens with the pinks and these are just showy as pretty as neon colors okay this is the colors that you see in the summer in the springtime ready to be shown it's like you've been hiding away waiting to release this and it's like now is the time if the divine's the one that was putting you on a stand still for a second until you were ready to, to to be able to hold down this type of confidence here's the divine telling you it's time you are about to show up and show off and show out and it's going to be beautiful this is what you've been working towards some of you guys it's a project you've been working on for months for a year trying to get it off the ground for some of you guys, it's like this part of you, like I said, this confidence within you that you've been waiting to show it out. But the only reason why you haven't been moving forward is because you didn't believe it yet. You didn't breathe it yet. You didn't have it within. You didn't. There was this part of you that still doubted you, your abilities, your skills. And here you are finally accepting who you are whole. And here you are showing out. The divine's like, we've been preparing you for this day. And here you are ready to go nothing and this is the reason why this foundation took forever right that why this this thing took forever the foundation wasn't built you can have everything laid out but if you don't think you have the the skills or the tool set or the temple within you to hold this power this structure this energy then there's no point of having this energy around you if you were just gonna flop and it's it was just it was like a waste of time why even exude that type of energy if you don't believe it you can hold that energy right here you have with the Knight of Cups, again, fast moving energy. I know it's a cup energy, but look at the fire specks all around. This is you appreciating self. This is this is this exudes self-confidence, self-worth. You acknowledging it, embracing it, feeling all up on it. It's a gorgeous energy and it's fast moving fucking energy. It can burn you this energy will burn you so if this is you where like the energy is at an all-time high take advantage of it because remember although fire is great to work with it doesn't last forever not unless if you know how to tame it and hone it but it seems to me like you're just rushing out of the gates you've been waiting for this day and the day is coming and it's here and you're about to run 
the thing about it is you have to have a, a structured plan in place because again if you want your fire to last a long time you need to have the proper tool sets right the right amount of oxygen the right amount of of a firewood or whatever it is that you're using lints whatever it is that you're using to 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 create that fire effect here you are at the nine of swords energy it's so pretty look at the colors in the background again the gems the structure how long did it take for this color to have for, for these gems to even become gems the rocks to become rocks right the sedimentary sedimentary rock to to have been there years eons for it to to even be able to shine like that so when the sun actually hits these rocks these sedimentary rocks or whatever these are the crystals it exudes the energy you don't have to explain to someone what this is worth the value of this because it shows you didn't see the hard work this person put for it to become and form into a crystal you didn't see you didn't see how many years it took you didn't see the planning the preparation the self-belief the confidence the faith the prayer you didn't see all of this nobody saw this but you just kept doing the regiment you kept doing the regiment you kept doing regiment because you believed other people didn't see it but you believed inside that one day you would excel you would become something you would you would embrace something you would be at your fullest potential you did it because one day you saw yourself like this and here's the day it's here now it's, it could have taken you six months but a full committed preparation i mean you didn't even go outside you didn't self-sabotage to go outside but some part of you was slowly gaining the self-belief that you can become this one day it's beautiful it's valuable as the quartz of oh, oh, as the as the as the, whatever this is that the crystals let's call it crystals and so here you are working relentlessly, gaining the confidence, gaining the self-belief, and then one day the sun comes out and here you are, you're ready. And you're a part of it. With the Nine of Swords, sleepless nights, right? I'm getting you, like, the discipline that it had to take for you to get here. Nobody saw that. You're just going to show up one day. You're going to pop out. And people are going to be like, where did this person come from? What, what is this? What, what, I didn't know you had this. You didn't know. Right? The, the, the people didn't know. They doubted you. They, they didn't even believe. They didn't even know what was going on. You never doubted yourself. You could have doubted yourself, but you still kept doing the work. You still kept doing the work so that you can gain the self-belief that you needed, which is what I'm saying. Here you are at the Nine of Swords, coming out of it as an empress. You were waiting for this day. This is waiting. This is plotting. This is planning. This is knowing, regaining the self-worth inside so that when she comes out, there's fire... There's gold, there's everything within her and she knows it, her, him, whatever. This person, this is the energy, the, the Empress energy you created. Created, right? You did the discipline, the hard work, the sleepless nights and you created something that you believed was gonna become yours, that you believed you would be, be, believe one day you were good enough to be, come. And here you are, you show out. You're showing out this week. It becomes a reality. And all of a sudden, it's a two of wands. You're going to have options that you didn't have before. This is an option. Another option coming in that you may be, you know, you may have saw, saw this day one day, right? You may have seen that this was going to become your reality one day. But you never saw there were more options that were going to add on if you stayed down that path. And here you are coming into this path. You don't even fucking know the whole picture. The divine only showed you a speck of a picture of what was going to happen if you went down this road, if you started working on self, if you started on this project, because it was all tied together. It was tied with your self-worth, with your calling, with your projects. It was all tied together. And here you are not realizing that there's more options coming in because you went down this path. There was more to it than you realized there was. Things tied to it than you could have ever imagined. And here you are with the two of wands and then your fire. Be careful. Your fire is burning out. You're exhausted. You can get to this point of exhaustion. Because it was more than you thought. It was more than you bargained for. Good and bad. So please just be careful. I said come up with a plan so that you don't tire yourself out. Because you can. Remember fire does burn out. And then you're going to be involved with more options than you thought were available. And it's going to be a lot in a good way. It's just, again, come up with a plan, take your time, breathe and enjoy the process. You're here. It's here. It's show out time. If, the, if now's the time, it's the time. Prepare. All right, guys. Uh, that's all I have for you, my lovelies. Take care.